welcome back to the second part of the conversation but we're still with Pastor Cyrus Kedele and you know he, he talked about you know what we need to look out for when you want to uh, identify or find the right spouse and we're still continuing in this conversation just to know you know uh, what other factors can we look out for when you're trying to identify the right spouse. So you've talked about you know the roles of uh, the woman you know she does you know she manages the home. Now you know we can say the same things eh, about men. Na na tete a certain group and you na sema vile tu me sema na wake tuko jikoni na men basi wa provide basi because yeah. that's the role. Yeah yeah yeah. Uh -huh. So I'm coming there. Uh -huh. Now first of all I wanted us to lay it bare uh -huh. that number one a woman must understand her roles mm -hmm. and her specific areas of engagement which are her primary office mm -hmm. the kitchen is a primary office of of, of, a, of a lady mm -hmm. uh, housekeeping is primary office mm -hmm. cooking you know all that mm -hmm. is primary office mm -hmm. uh, taking children. care of the children mm -hmm. is primary office for the woman mm -hmm. right but when it comes to man mm -hmm. the primary office of a man mm -hmm. is number one taking care and responsibilities of a man mm -hmm. is taking care of the family in terms of bills Mm -hmm. Take care of housing, mm -hmm. take care of clothing, mm -hmm. take care of school fees, mm -hmm. take care of projects, mm -hmm. take care of uh, uh, investments mm -hmm. and all that, mm -hmm. all right? And take care of feeding mm -hmm. in terms of providing the food. You may not yes. cook it, but provide it. Mm -hmm. Those are, from time immemorial, mm -hmm. the different roles that the, the two different people yeah. take. The lady has her own office, mm -hmm. I have my own office. Mm -hmm. Now, what complicates matters yes. is when you have to live through in marriage mm -hmm. through rules and regulations. Okay. But if you have to live through love, love is a solution that dissolves all those things into a space where they intermingle without 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 uh, scathing. Mm -hmm. In terms of there becomes it becomes very easy mm -hmm. to for you both of you to live without okay. having to say Mm -hmm. uh, go cook because your it's your responsibility. Mm -hmm. You will cook because you are you you love. Mm -hmm. I will do bills because I love you. Mm -hmm. If it gets to a point where because there are those kinds of marriages where in families where women are earning more than men, yes, there's nothing wrong for you mm -hmm. uh, being able to chip in to do an investment or mm -hmm. being able to chip in to buy a house mm -hmm. or being able to chip in to, to do rent, rent for a whole uh, a whole year mm -hmm. or something. Mm. We are living in a time when uh, my job can actually go down. Do you agree with that? I know there are some ladies, eh, nili per rent one year. No, the question is just one. Uh. When, you are, when you are saying nili per rent one year, mm. where do you want to take the money? <laughs> it's my money. They it's say your money. So, and mwanamke. who am I to you? You are the husband. So you are the provider. Between your money and me, who is uh. more important? You should have married your money. <laughs> you have the answer. Wow. I mean, at the end of the day, if, uh. if you're married for love, mm. your husband... Uh, 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 your husband is high above and mm. sits high above mm -hmm. the money, sits high above the children, mm. sits high above the neighbors, mm -hmm. sits high above your job. Mm -hmm. Are you getting it? Mm -hmm. You should be at a place where you know your priorities well. Mm -hmm. A great marriage must keep the correct list of priorities. Mm -hmm. I mean, you cannot exchange priorities and expect that you're going to succeed in marriage. And so mm -hmm. the point here is, if you prioritize money over your husband, mm -hmm. trust me, there are things you will not do. You mm. will actually pay more allegiance to the money than mm. to your husband. Wow. Right? Now, mm -hmm. if, if you prioritize your ego as mm. a man, mm -hmm. you will despise your, your woman mm. and say, I can never get into the kitchen. Yeah. Your wife is pregnant. Mm. She cannot even bend. Mm. But you will force her to wash your clothes. And you will be there thinking that you mm. are a man. You are a stupid fool. Mm. Because as a man... Getting into the kitchen, mm -hmm. getting into the bathroom, being yeah. able to help in one way or another, mm -hmm. they're taking care of the children. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't make you any less of a man. Mm -hmm. Actually, it actually improves your love mm -hmm. and your connection with your wife mm -hmm. and with your spouse. Ah, I that's... cook many times. Mm. I've taught my wife many recipes mm. and I cook out of love. Mm -hmm. Before we got married, maybe I need to mention this one. <laughs> my wife told me, Nisichome. But let me say, before we got married, uh -huh. I told my wife, we uh -huh. were just having conversations. Uh -huh. I told my wife, you know, uh, I love cooking, mm -hmm. but I want to announce to you the last day <laughs> uh -huh. of me getting into the kitchen. Uh, is the new Maria? No, uh. the last day for me to get into the kitchen uh -huh. is when you think uh -huh. and act like it is your right for me to get into uh -huh. the kitchen and cook. That will be the last day <laughs> you see me in the kitchen. Uh, so she should see it as a privilege, it's a privilege. not as a right or even, an entitlement. Even when a man, uh -huh. even me as a man, uh -huh. if my wife is earning more uh -huh. than myself, uh -huh. all right, 
and she chips in to pay rent mm -hmm. or she chips in to do investment. Mm -hmm. A stupid man will settle and say, ah, my wife is Nimefika. earning two million. Let her do Why it. should I, what, my, what, eh. what will my 50,000 Kenyan shillings per month do? Mm -hmm. My wife is earning 2.5. Mm -hmm. I mean, at the end of the day, a stupid man will think like that. Mm. But a wise man, even if the woman is earning 100,000, yes. and the husband, amekua ki, aki, aki tengeneza maka, mm. that man will wake up at five. Mm -hmm. Go and do charcoal mm -hmm. business. Mm -hmm. Come back in the evening. Bring whatever they can bring. Mm -hmm. Continue doing their role, mm -hmm. even with the assistance of the wife. Wow. Because it is the role of a man. Mm -hmm. I you, think it's really important the way you put it across. Huh? As, uh, it doesn't matter because, you know, your spouse is helping you. Don't get entitled. Yes. I'm all relaxed. No, 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 you're doing you it. Don't. Same thing. Just mm -hmm. because I, I, I am changing the baby diaper every, t every now and then, my mm -hmm. wife cannot sit down and say, ah, <laughs> my husband is the one who changes. <laughs> no, no. I'm Whenever coming in to do that because I'm let the husband yeah, I, 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 I come from <laughs> work and I get in and I, oh hi hi how are you fine thank <laughs> you and I find her sewing and <laughs> she's there relaxed watching TV <laughs> and I'm like ah uh, can I have some tea <laughs> get into the kitchen you get it there mm. no mm. no <laughs> there must be non-negotiable okay. duties of a woman in the house mm -hmm. even if there's a house girl yes. there are roles that a house girl is never meant to do mm -hmm. you understand mm -hmm. and you as a every family is different mm -hmm. there are women who would say for me the role that is non-negotiable for me. Mm -hmm. Nobody else should ever do that role. Yes. Number one is serving my husband. Mm. That even if the house girl cooks, yes. I will serve and my the one husband. Who's going to serve him. Okay. And that is mm. a non-delegatable role. Mm -hmm. Number two, there are others, women who say, mm -hmm. for me, is ironing his clothes. Yes. And so for me, mm -hmm. the house girl can do anything. Mm -hmm. But ironing my husband's clothes, it's my I duty. am not going to delegate. Mm -hmm. That is my duty. Mm -hmm. I can delegate every other thing. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. washing my clothes, my husband's clothes, is a no-go zone, no -go zone yes. for anyone, including my own sisters. Uh -huh. At, no, <laughs> except when I'm sick. Uh -huh. You understand? Okay. And a woman who has that at, mm -hmm. the, at the back of their congosity, mm -hmm. they will be they will have the capacity to be able to build yes. a great marriage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, so you understand your role? Mm -hmm. I understand my role. Mm -hmm. They can inter in, in, intertwine. They can be intertwined once in a while. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean anything changes from the kitchen being your office. Doesn't mean that bills will ever be your office. It is my office. Mm -hmm. You're right. You've related very important things there. And maybe just to kind of bring us back to the topic, you, you had talked about, you know, values, looking at the values of the other person. You talked about discernment, being able to discern, yeah. you know, and, you know, being connected to God so that he can also show you the kind of person that is. What else should someone look out for when they're, you know? <laughs> you know, I started from uh, saying the yes. easy connection uh -huh. and, uh, and attraction. Mm -hmm. So after attraction is yes. easy connection. Right. Because mm -hmm. like, for example, after mm -hmm. you have seen that yes. someone is attractive mm -hmm. and you walk over to them, mm -hmm. right? And you begin to connect with them. Mm -hmm. Easy, the, easy connections. The, the, the ease of connection uh -huh. will tell you whether this is the right ah. person or not. Mm -hmm. Stop forcing issues. Mm -hmm. If There's it's no not easily connecting, uh -huh. leave it. Uh -huh. It won't work. <laughs> you, you, in other words, uh -huh. you are forcing the other person to uh -huh. pretend mm -hmm. that it is flowing mm -hmm. when, it's not, when flowing. it's not flowing. And you're wasting you're wasting precious foundational moments. Mm. Yeah. So if it's not flowing, it's not flowing. Mm -hmm. If you don't like her, mm. don't, don't force yourself it. into it. Mm -hmm. Because like, for example, there are people who live in the slums. Mm -hmm. In the first place, they did not like the slums. Mm -hmm. They came in, they were like, hey, hmm, how do you live here? Yeah. But because they stayed way longer than necessary, mm -hmm. they began to appreciate the slum. Yeah. And now they love the slum. Mm -hmm. Now they are in love with the slum. Mm -hmm. Are you getting it? Yes. Do you know the kind of, have you ever seen someone and you say, ah, we are none such an ambien, you know. Uh -huh. Have you ever seen such kind of people? Mm -hmm. Today, if I picked that person, put them in the same room with you, mm -hmm. and I allowed you to enjoy life together with them in mm -hmm. terms of see them in the morning, yes. see them at lunchtime, mm -hmm. share supper with them, mm -hmm. spend the night with them, mm -hmm. wake up in the morning. In one week, mm -hmm. in two weeks, mm -hmm. you will start appreciating it something about them mm -hmm. and saying, Hata kama umu tu siyo muhansam, lakini anayeshima, lakini anayeshima, then all of a sudden you're like, 
aki so caring yeah, yeah hata kama hata kama akili yake si mzuri lakini ako so caring <laughs> within a year <laughs> we actually marry the person mm. not because they were your first attraction mm. i loved them because you stay longer unnecessarily mm. to begin to appreciate what you should not have wow. started so you're actually saying it's a bad thing it is a bad I thing i thought you were going to say no 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 no. No. <laughs> no 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 it is a bad thing okay. it is a bad thing because uh, you like for example right now if uh -huh. i'm not attracted to you i'm not attracted to you mm -hmm. stop forcing issues mm -hmm. that should be the first thing mm -hmm. if i'm not attracted to you, you stop don't it create then. excuses uh -huh. or saying oh you know i can actually clean her up <laughs> Are you kuvaa lakini I mean just whatever you appreciate if I appreciate smart ladies when I see a smart lady uh -huh. I will be attracted yes. attraction mm -hmm. number two is mm -hmm. ease of connection mm -hmm. and so number two is how easily do you connect mm -hmm. there are people you get attracted to yes. but the, the 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 connection is not easy mm -hmm. you 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 are the one calling all the time you are the one texting all the time mm -hmm. the person does not respond mm -hmm. when you meet for a, a cup of coffee mm -hmm. you are so dis your stories are so disjointed mm -hmm. i mean there is no mm -hmm. connection there is no flow there is mm -hmm. nothing mm -hmm. even when you you make a call to each other mm -hmm. you can't even talk for two minutes <laughs> Sure Why other people story. are talking wanaongea mpaka wanaingia <laughs> ile ile ya, wanaingia ile ya, ile ya airtel inaitwa nini <laughs> ile ya uh, fuliza sio fuliza <laughs> the other one i mean you those you, minutes yeah, yeah those minutes uh, yeah. tubonge yes, when i get tubonge because and by the way for me and my wife actually tubonge helped us a lot <laughs> we used to talk until maskio inachoka unaweka upande huu mwingine uh. unaweka upande huu mwingine so that at least uh. usikie usikie tunaongea mpaka tunachoka <laughs> But we say we should say good night and go to sleep. Because it is flowing. Uh -huh. There is ease of connection. Yes. Mm -hmm. If there is no ease of connection, mm -hmm. be careful. Okay. Don't you that make a decision a if there is no ease of connection. Mm -hmm. Now the other thing that is important mm -hmm. is shared interests. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean immediately you can be able to tell mm -hmm. this person is interested in the things I'm interested in. Mm -hmm. If I'm interested in God mm -hmm. and you are not, mm -hmm. trust me. That's don't compromise. Trouble. Okay. The red light. Mm -hmm. I mean at the end of the day mm -hmm. you must be interested in things that I'm interested in. Mm -hmm. Shared interests mm -hmm. are part of what actually brings people together. Mm -hmm. Live alone in marriage, okay. also in business mm -hmm. and in the world where we live. Mm -hmm. Shared interest. Mm -hmm. Even in the village. Okay. People come together. If you do tobacco and I do tobacco, mm -hmm. we, we come, come together, together, we become friends. Mm -hmm. If you are a thug and I am a thug, mm -hmm. we come together, we mm -hmm. do our thing. Mm -hmm. If you are a prostitute, I'm a prostitute, that's why we met. Mm -hmm. We continue flowing the same way. Yeah. You cannot tell me that you're working with a fool and you're not a fool. Mm -hmm. You are And wow. so shared interest, shared interest is very becomes important. also an important aspect mm. of making a decision mm -hmm. for the kind of a person that mm -hmm. you want to get and married to. And it could to. be you've said spiritually, it could be uh, maybe destiny. It could be shared destiny, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, shared vision, mm. uh, shared um, hobbies, mm -hmm. um, shared um, brrr, things mm -hmm. that you're interested in, mm -hmm. shared business, uh, business, uh, mm -hmm. whatever ideas or mm -hmm. shared biz business, plans. business interests mm -hmm. or plans and all that, okay. or um, you know, uh, or shared community values or stuff. Mm -hmm. There must be shared interest okay. between both of you. Okay. Uh, never be quick to commit to mm -hmm. someone who has. Uh, less of shared interest mm. with you yeah because it's going to be friction it's going there's going future. to be f friction almost mm. all the time mm -hmm. the other thing that is important actually in trying uh, in tr uh, trying to decipher who it is mm -hmm. that can be a lifetime partner with you is um, reasonably reasonably uh, shared intellect mm -hmm. you know Mm -hmm. um, like you need to be on the same level intellectually. Yes, yes, yes. You need to be on the same level in terms yes. of uh, thought mm -hmm. and processing issues. Mm -hmm. How do you think and how do you process things? Mm -hmm. If you are not on the same level with this person in terms of how they think, mm -hmm. their thought processes, yes. and how they process things mm -hmm. in life, yes. you may not be able to go far with this kind of a person. Mm -hmm. uh, so you need also, when, in making a decision, mm -hmm. you need to... Uh, have a shared level of intellect uh, so that there will be mm. when you are talking mm -hmm. even when you're sharing interests yes. when you're sharing ideas mm -hmm. there's a way that you can engage yes but if this person is too low down mm -hmm. there and you're too high up there yes. you will always have conflict mm -hmm. this person is thinking this way you're, you're thinking, thinking on the other way. side you will never mm. come into oneness and you see mm -hmm. marriage is about 
oneness. oneness. Wow. So this oneness of uh, attraction, oneness of connection, mm. oneness of interest, mm -hmm. oneness of intellectual uh, mm. intellectual levels. Mm -hmm. I mean, how you think and how you process things, mm -hmm. the kind of ideas you share. Mm -hmm. There's some oneness in mm -hmm. that. The other thing. That I and maybe just mm. on that point, is the level of education important? Maybe I have a certificate yeah. or maybe I have a degree, mm. he has a certificate. Should that's that the reason be? why I did not say level of education. <laughs> okay. And that's the reason why I did not say uh -huh. uh, shared academic qualifications. Okay. I said intellect. Mm -hmm. You can actually be very bright, mm. but you only graduated from class 8. You mm -hmm. never had school fees to take you nowhere, mm -hmm. but you are the kind of a brain. Mm -hmm. Your IQ is mm. is is quite matching mm -hmm. with a with university that. professor. Mm -hmm. And so, um, I mean, I've, I've, I've seen people who are so educated but so stupid. Mm. But I've seen people who never went to school so bright, wow. brilliant. Mm -hmm. If you sit down with them in the village, mm -hmm. the kind of points that they bring about community development, mm -hmm. the kind of, they are the ones who are picked as leaders in the village. Mm -hmm. They never went to school, yes. But they are more wiser mm, than those, who, than went those who went to school. So it's about the oh, IQ. Okay. It's about the in intellect. Mm. It's about how this person is able to think through things mm -hmm. and how this person is able to handle matters. Mm -hmm. I mean, and, and that has nothing to do with your academic qualifications. Okay. School does not teach you intellectual... Mm. It really doesn't... <laughs> <laughs> they say you can go to school and not be educated. Yes, and not be educated. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. And so it is important for you to understand mm -hmm. that uh, the mind of this person yes. is actually a mind I can match with. Mm -hmm. When you sit down with them, in the conversations that you'll be having, yes. this person never went to the school where I went. Mm -hmm. But they are the kind of mind that they have yes. is actually my mind. Uh -huh. Yeah, we can match wow. this shared mm -hmm. mental capacity. Wow. Yeah, shared wow. mental capacity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the other thing that I felt was very important is probably standards. Mm -hmm. Yeah, standards. Standards. Eh? standards. Uh -huh. Yeah, never be afraid mm -hmm. for to keep your standards. Mm -hmm. And that's the point at which most people lose it mm -hmm. when they, they, you're setting up a foundation to a, a great successful marriage, mm -hmm. where you compromise your standards mm -hmm. because you think probably you're too old, mm -hmm. because you yeah. think probably you've uh, lived yeah, so man, long alone, that. you've been <laughs> single for yeah. too long. So you compromise what you should not compromise. Mm -hmm. I would want to speak to that young person who is watching mm -hmm. us today and say, if you have your own standards mm -hmm. or you have family standards, mm -hmm. don't fall so far off mm -hmm. in making a choice for who mm -hmm. you want to get married to. Don't compromise too much. Don't compromise too much. Mm -hmm. There's only a small leeway for flexibility, mm -hmm. but don't compromise too uh. much. Yeah, don't compromise too so much. So if you have specific, you know, preference of how you want to do your life or how you carry your life, yeah, yeah. you should be able to try and get at least something like that or close to that. Don't veer off so much. It is in true. In the name of love. Every monkey uh. has, a, has a partner. <laughs> <laughs> Every monkey has a partner. Uh -huh. And trust me, you will find your partner. Mm -hmm. Those ladies you think are so complicated, mm. they also can be able to get a husband who is mm. also so complicated like that will be able to match them. Mm -hmm. You know, there are some marriages that make me laugh. Mm -hmm. From where I come from, I know of some marriages that are where all the days of my growing up, mm -hmm. I always had that lady crying because mm -hmm. the husband was always beating, up, uh, beating them up. Mm -hmm. Yet they've never gone love. They've never <laughs> gone love. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. They've never gone love. They've yeah. never... They've never separated, leave uh -huh. alone divorcing. Yeah. They've never separated. Mm -hmm. They have 10 children. Mm -hmm. All of them have been educated. Mm -hmm. They have businesses. They have oh. investments. Mm -hmm. Yet, Yet, they quarrel mm -hmm. every week. They yeah. quarrel every week. They call each other names. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're foolish. I don't mm -hmm. know why I married you. Mm -hmm. Yet, for over 40 years, they've been married. Mm -hmm. I know of people who got married. Mm -hmm. They never quarreled. Mm -hmm. They never insulted each other. Yeah. They never stayed for two years. And they are separated and divorced. Mm -hmm. Are you getting it? True. Every monkey mm -hmm. has its match. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are some women who get married mm -hmm. and God knows. Mm -hmm. And no, God knows how to match people. Mm -hmm. There are women who, for them to stick in a marriage mm -hmm. and for them to have an effective family, they must be slapped. <laughs> so they will keep slapping each other, slapping each other, slapping each other. And, and they will enjoy it. And by the way, that's how they live it. Uh, they live their lives that way. Uh -huh. And you would never hear them saying, oh, I'm going to report they my must. husband to the police station. Uh, they love slapping each other. Uh, now, unless they will, no, now going to report. You're going to report what? <laughs> if that's what they enjoy, what are you going to report? Yeah? Wow. Well, well, there are those who cannot, you know, who cannot stand. We'll call it domestic leave alone, abuse. Leave alone stopping. It is actually dom uh, uh -huh. uh, domestic violence. Uh -huh. But... Leave alone slapping. Uh -huh. There are women who cannot stand an insult. 
Yes. Ngombe wewe. Kwani kwetu niliuana? Kwisha. And go home. Mm. Bring this thing to an end. Yes. Wash your hands and completely go. Mm. And you go get married to another man. Mm. And he tells you, you, mm-hmm. why are you looking like a fool? Mm. You call me a fool. Kwisha. Second marriage, gone. Mm. And third marriage, gone. Mm. And trust me, some of them would stay and stay and stay up to a point where probably they'll mm. never keep a marriage. Mm. Why? There are things they can't take. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so it is important okay. for you to understand mm-hmm. do not veer too off, too off from the standards okay. from the you standards that you keep. If if you are the kind mm. that I don't entertain nonsense. Mm-hmm. Do not compromise on that. Mm-hmm. To start entertaining a little bit of nonsense mm-hmm. so that you get a husband or get a wife <laughs> because it will that affect you in the important. future. Wow, it will that affect is very you in the important. future. Because I think you know it reaches a point I think because you've said maybe age someone feels yeah. they are too old they are like sasa nikianza kuchagua chagua hivi sana ni kama nitakaa peke yangu so let me just a little bit compromise. Let's veer off. Let's veer off a little bit from that conversation uh-huh. so that I can answer what you're talking about. Okay. Because by the time you're getting old what were you doing? Eish. No, no, no. The question hey, is. Mawe, the, question mawe, is mawe, the, the question is. The question is. <laughs> you're ruma, saying time ruma. is going. All right. Time is going. Yes. I have to get married. Uh-huh. Question is. What were you doing? What were you doing yeah. in your youth? If what you were doing, uh-huh. when time was going, mm. was worthwhile, mm-hmm. you have no regrets. Okay. But if what you were doing mm. is wasting your time mm-hmm. at the time when you were supposed to be making some critical life decisions, mm-hmm. then you have yourself to blame. Not God, not anyone else. It's yourself. <laughs> I mean, there are wow. people mm-hmm. who you are in campus, mm-hmm. and God makes flowers beautiful to be picked. Mm-hmm. I grew up in the village. Mm-hmm. When one dog is honey, when mm-hmm. one it's called what uh, on heat. Mm-hmm. When a dog is on heat, mm-hmm. I don't know where the dogs from 20 kilometers away from the village come from. Mm-hmm. You will realize there are 20 dogs, all of them mauling over <laughs> one single dog mm-hmm. because the dog is on heat. Mm-hmm. All right? Yeah. How do they get to know? Because the Bible is clear. The Bible says he makes things beautiful in his time. Yes. When it is time for mm-hmm. mating for mm-hmm. the dogs, the other dogs will know they it will is time feel for mating. That, huh? No, God makes a woman uh-huh. ready for marriage uh-huh. and attractive to the opposite sex uh-huh. at some point. Okay. Yet some ladies give themselves every excuse mm. from making that decision mm. to actually make find a life partner. Mm-hmm. I Maybe find you in college, uh-huh. you're in first year. Yeah. And Jamai is in fourth year and mm-hmm. they're like, I think I like you. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, no, 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 no. Me, I want education. I, I didn't come here for relationships. <laughs> and you start education, <laughs> you are done with, yeah, I want to focus with, the, with education. <laughs> it is true. Yeah. It is your decision. You focus with education. You are done with campus. Uh-huh. Someone else comes and says, hey, uh-huh. by the way, uh-huh. you're so beautiful. Uh-huh. <laughs> and you move on. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because I focus. Uh-huh. All right? Uh-huh. Before you know it, mm. you have the education you were looking for. Mm. And now, what you don't have, you have the education, mm. you have the money, mm-hmm. and you have the status in society. Mm-hmm. What you don't have mm. is a family. Yes. And the only way to get a family mm. is to get a husband. Mm-hmm. And the kinds of people that were approaching you then mm. are already married with four children. Mm-hmm. Their firstborn is in form one. <laughs> Where? Hard reality. Are you getting it? Mm. And you start looking back and saying, mm. if anyone asks you genuinely, mm. have you ever had a true love? Mm. You would actually honestly say, yes. When I was in second year in campus, mm. I really loved this guy. Mm-hmm. But I just wanted to finish my education. Yeah. You see, you do not hold on to life, mm-hmm. on to living life. You, you do not excuse yourself from living life mm-hmm. for temporary things. Mm-hmm. Campus education is a four-year temporary exercise. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Getting your first job mm. is a temporary process. It's mm-hmm. just a part of life. Mm-hmm. But you getting married is mm, life it's itself. It's a lifetime. You preparing yourself for that life is mm-hmm. life itself. Wow. Education is life itself. Mm-hmm. And as you live life, mm-hmm. an example is because you're in campus, mm-hmm. were you going to the toilet? Of course. Of course. Mm-hmm. Because it's life. You're living life. Mm, it's part were you of breathing? Life, huh? mm-hmm. Yes, I was breathing. Yes. So when it is that it is, I am in class, I'm mm-hmm. in campus, and it is lunchtime. So mm-hmm. it is what time? Lunchtime. Mm hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Do I continue reading when it is lunchtime? No. Mm-hmm. I stop reading. Yes. I go take lunch, come back to come class, back. continue reading. Mm-hmm. All right? Mm-hmm. The same way. Who told you? It's a weird view of marriage that our generation has mm-hmm. that, oh, you know, when you get married without a master's degree, you will never have it. You'll never have it. You'll never have time because you'll be you'll raising never have time. kids. You'll be raising kids. Your husband. Listen, my mother, uh-huh. 
Her name is Monkish. Uh -huh. My mother, f six years ago, she surprised all of us. She's mm -hmm. been having one degree. Mm -hmm. And she went back and said, I want to study. Mm -hmm. Fast forward, after six, six years, mm. she has about three diplomas. Wow. She has about two masters. Mm. She's taking a PhD. What? All that in six years. Are you getting it? Mm. I know friends of mine mm -hmm. who both of them got married mm -hmm. without campus degree. Mm -hmm. They got married. Mm -hmm. They went to first degree, second degree, third degree. Mm -hmm. And they're still studying. Mm. And their life is going on. Mm -hmm. They're raising children. Mm -hmm. They're doing investments. And they're doing business, wow. big time business. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, Baati ya mwenzio usiraliye mlangu wazi. Ati kuna fulani, mm. yeye alimaliza, kabisa kamaliza kapata PhD. Diyo wakapata buwana, mm. diyo wakapata watoto. Mm. Baati ya mwenzio, hapana laliya mlangu wazi. Mm -hmm. And so you have your own life. Mm -hmm. Do not stop life from mm -hmm. moving on mm -hmm. because of something temporary oh, that you must wow, do. Wow. Right? Yeah. So you wow. must learn how to balance those things. Mm -hmm. At the time when you are saying, mimi nimechelewa kuwa, mm -hmm. ati, you know time is going, uh, where were you all that time? Where were you all that time? Yeah. Wow. Because God, let me tell you something. My wife uh, recently um, did, um, in one of the media houses, did a, dis a discussion that they were talking about what to do in the waiting. Mm -hmm. what, what to do in the waiting yes. in your single as you, time yes. as you prepare yourself for marriage. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. One of the things that is people do not understand is when you are born mm -hmm. as a woman, mm -hmm. You, you cannot get married at 10 years. Yes. Why? You're not ready. Yes. You're not ready. Mm -hmm. You can't get married at 15. Mm -hmm. Why? You're, You're not, not ready. ready. What do you call ready? Who is making you ready? Mm. Whose responsibility is it to get you ready for marriage? Wow. It is your responsibility. Mm -hmm. God allowed you to begin to learn some things from mm -hmm. childhood. Mm -hmm. When you are born and your mom is telling you, Take mm. those cups to the kitchen. Mm. Please tidy up your play, play area. Make your bed. Make your bed. Mm -hmm. They are preparing you. Mm. They are giving you the skills you will need to yes. succeed in marriage mm -hmm. and to succeed in life. Mm -hmm. And that is the time to even, even when you, like you're in, yeah. uh, you, you are five years of age, mm -hmm. you start playing with people in the, in the, in the, in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. You start going to kindergarten, you go to school, you get introduced to people from the same village or from other areas of, you know, um, in, in your location. Mm -hmm. Reasons why God is allowing those things mm -hmm. is to actually network uh -huh. you mm -hmm. with people mm -hmm. who either will become your future husband, mm -hmm. all right, or mm -hmm. wife, mm -hmm. or they will teach you. Mm -hmm. Some of the girlfriends that we used to have, that we thought were very useless, they taught us manners. Mm. Yeah, you had a girlfriend when you were in class eight. Character development. Yeah, uka <laughs> a character development. And by the time you are actually coming, the real uh, meeting the right kind of a person, mm. you are you're already ready. developed, mm. and you are ready you're to person. actually now handle this person. Mm. I tell you, if I found my wife, God blessed me. If mm. I found my wife ten years mm. ago, mm. I probably wouldn't be married today. Okay. I am married today because I mm. married my wife. Mm. I would not have married my wife mm. earlier or later than mm. when I married because her. Because you are not ready? Because, because uh. it is possible that mm. I wasn't even ready. Mm. There are things I learned two years before I met mm. my wife <laughs> that actually so helped me So sometimes the wait is, is worthwhile. Huh? It is worthwhile. Okay. And so by the time you get to a point where now you have to make a decision, mm -hmm. do not compromise on your standards because you're saying mm. time is not on time my side. Time is running. The biological the clock. The clock is that is running on your side mm. could actually be also running on your husband's side. So don't mm. worry. Mm. Both of you are late. Both of you are late. <laughs> so you a, will actually be somewhere. That's a good way somewhere. to look at it. Yeah. Wow. You know this topic of love, relationship, marriage, you can never exhaust such a topic because there's so much to talk about. It wasn't meant to, to be exhausted. About. Yeah, there's so much to talk about, so much areas to dive into. But I believe what we've been able to discuss, you know, is, mm. is, uh, is, you know, sufficient enough for the viewer at home to be able to capture, gather and see what to apply. Kama mimi ni metoka na vitu, mob, yani so many lessons. Yeah. Hey, so many lessons and I hope even the viewer told me you've been able to capture something on how you can go about finding the right person and even other, you know, things that we've talked about, like looking at a person's character. He has said that, you know, marriage amplifies character. So oh. if you found him smoking one packet of cigarette in marriage, you'll be smoking five packets. Oh, yeah, you're right. Five <laughs> packets of cigarette. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just an example I'm using, but let's be careful because you don't want to get married and then 
you know, start crying and, and just having a troublesome marriage is not something that you will want. And that's why we're having these discussions. So thank you so much, Pastor Cyrus. Asante. For honoring this interview, speaking with us, sharing that's your knowledge for free. Yes. So thank you for that free uh, lesson you've taught us. And we hope to see you more and more again as you educate us mm. on this topic. Great. I'll be... I'll be ready to come up, uh, to come back again mm -hmm. uh, when invited. Mm -hmm. And it is a blessing to know that uh, there would be people that are willing to actually mm -hmm. uh, follow such kind of conversations mm -hmm. because um, uh, it is important for us to be prepared mm -hmm. uh, before we get into it. Mm -hmm. uh, once you cross some, some, some lines, there's no going back. Mm -hmm. There's no going back. So get all the information you can get, get every help that you can get for now mm -hmm. before you cross. Right. Once you cross, it becomes hard. Mm -hmm. And just before we go, there's one more thing I want to say to you. Congratulations. Happy anniversary. Oh, yeah. I had to say this. It's a coincidence <laughs> yeah. that today is your anniversary. Yeah, actually, it is. It and is actually. This discussion. Yeah. It is actually our, uh, our third anniversary. Wow. According to my wife, mm -hmm. third anniversary. According to me, our sixth <laughs> anniversary. And uh, yeah. Oh, and so, uh, go ahead. so therefore, yeah. No, no, no. Uh, because um, is it anniversary of uh, when we got married? I married her in my heart uh, in 2017, <laughs> yes, yes, so it's back. about six before years ago. Before the real ago. marriage. Yeah, before <laughs> the real marriage. The real marriage, you were just getting married for the community <laughs> to see and to witness. But actually, okay. yeah, happy mm. anniversary to my love, oh. my only girl, oh. Betty. So, Sisi, when you... I don't know. What do you wish? What do you wish? Yeah. Mm. So, so was, mm. all right. So, what would you, you know, what would be your advice to the person watching us? You know, they want to get married. They desire, you know, a good person. I know from what we've discussed, what would you just tell them? I think I would say, marriage is a beautiful thing, mm -hmm. and anyone watching us today should be able to desire to get married. And uh, marriage is not just a beautiful thing. A well thought through marriage mm -hmm. and a well lived marriage mm -hmm. is a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. And so I pray that uh, there will be confidence in being able to set out to finding that kind of a right uh, life partner that you can live with for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. uh, the first thing that I would say is important, prepare yourself for it. If you need the kind of a, um, if you need the best kind of a partner, then be the best kind of a partner for them. Mm -hmm. I think that would be my Mm -hmm. uh, parting shot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see, you've spoken so much wisdom, mm -hmm. yes. and uh, our viewer may want to reach out to you, maybe yes. even get a one on one, yeah. you know, counseling on this. How mm -hmm. can the viewer be able to reach out to you? I'm not a professional counselor, mm -hmm. I am just a pastor, but uh, mm -hmm. in my pastoral duties, mm -hmm. uh, counseling is one of what I, or part of what I do for mm -hmm. the last 26 years. Mm -hmm. uh, but my wife is a counseling psychologist, mm -hmm. and we, there are sessions we hold together, mm -hmm. and uh, both of us are actually uh, leaders of the uh, counseling department and premarital uh, preparation in church mm -hmm. at uh, the Destin Life Church. Mm -hmm. So anyone who would wish to reach us uh, can be able to do so through um, this phone number or 777 uh, 399 or uh, 0710 one double zero, everything in doubles. Mm, double right. double. Yes. What yes. about you know social media handles? My social media handles, Pastor mm -hmm. uh, Pastor Kithele on Twitter at Pastor Kithele, and uh, on uh, Facebook is Cyrus Kithele, right? Mm -hmm. um, on YouTube, the Kitheles. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. All right, so that's it for today, our viewers. Thank you so much, Pastor Cyrus. We look forward to having you again. Much welcome. And thanks to our viewer, you know, for staying with us throughout this uh, program. My hope is that you've been able to capture something which you can be able to apply in your own life. So this has been The Limitless Show. I've been your host, Zipora Umela. I hope to see you in the next episode. But from now, from us, we say bye-bye.